and girls, welcome to Thursday Word Aware with Miss Kite. So, four days in on our concept journey. Do you remember concepts are different ideas about things? So we are using Word Aware to teach you vocabulary in the early years and we are using a lot of the resources from here. So please, please do, if you haven't already, download it, find it, buy it. Especially if you're a teacher, it is a great and valuable resource to have in the classroom. There's a lot more activities than what I'm showing you. So, today's word of the day is a positional language word. It's a directional word. And it's going to help us move around. So today's word is the word forwards. Can you say that? Forwards. One more time. Forwards. Well done. Well, let's break it up. Let's have a look. So forwards begins with the sound Say it. Well done. And it ends with a s. Well done. S. It begins with a well done. And it ends with a s. It's also a doing word, it's a verb. We are going forwards. Okay, it's our action. So forwards has got two syllables. Are you ready? Forwards. One more time. Forwards. One more time. Forwards. See, we break it up. Forwards. So our action is just to march and point forward. So we're going to march and point. That's forwards. Okay, if you don't want to march, it's just point forwards. So we can use it in a sentence. Are you ready? I walked forwards and backwards. I walked forwards up the stairs. The bowl rolled forwards off the tabletop. Um, I like to move my train forward on the track. Forwards. Okay, so I'm going to sing it, say it, and wrap it. Are you ready to join in with me? I really hope so, because I love this part, and I love seeing what you guys do with it. So. Let's go. Forwards. So let's have a listen to our story today. And today's story is all about the word forwards. Can you listen out for the word forwards in our story today? Brilliant. So one day, Concept Cat was going on a school trip. He was excited. While he waited on the carpet, Concept Cat did not look forwards. In the line, he got on the bus. Concept Cat still did not look forwards. On the bus, Concept Cat did not look forwards. 
Then the teacher told Concept Cat to go down the steps, forwards. Concept Cat walked down the steps, forwards. When he waited on the carpet, Concept Cat did not look forwards. In the line to get on the bus, Concept Cat did not look forwards. On the bus, Concept Cat did not look forwards. When he walked down the steps, he went forwards. Concept Cat, what a clever, clever cat. He now knows all about the word forwards. Well done. So, your challenge, there are six of them today. So, in your house, can you arrange chairs or objects like you are on a bus? Pretend that everyone is on the bus and that the bus move forwards and that all the people that you have on your bus are facing forwards. Challenge two, can you go outside and draw a line using chalk or paint to move forwards and have another person in your household follow your line forwards? Outside, can you also play with others and tell them to move forwards? using that word, forwards. Inside, can you play with trains, cars, or any object that has wheels and move them forwards and not forwards, making sure you use those words. Another activity you could do is to walk in different directions and say when you are moving forwards and not forwards. And finally, Involve your mums, dads, brothers and sisters. Can they tell you when they are moving forwards and not forwards? Can you spot when they are saying the wrong thing? Have a great conceptual day. Don't forget our word today is the word forwards. Well done everybody. See you tomorrow.